This time on Really Old Thieves. Two old men both try ripping off the store in separate encounters. Do they get away scot-free without being called effing thieves? Does Jack Marius go super sane and send both these geezers to Otherworld? Find out now on today's episode of Really Old Thieves. Alright you guys, today we are going to be paying attention to this little rattlesnake who just walked in the door. Now he's going to look up at the counter, give Jack the salute, always a good idea to make it seem like you're a friendly, honest paying customer. Now he's going to come over here and he's going to take a look at our fresh made daily quarter pound of meat with three slices of cheese sandwiches. Oh these do look pretty good, but what do they got over here? Oh these look even better. What are these, Prairie City cookies? What do they got here? Chocolate chunk? Oh and M&M. &M. Alright, better flash this money to the cashier and oh what do they got over here, a deli meat cooler? No. No, we just have all the fresh sandwiches. They do during the day, but I don't bet in the evening. Sorry, little buddy, but Jack is not a certified meat slicer, so he's going to grab two cookies, drop one on the ground, he's going to pick it up, and that's when he notices the condiment section for the Fresh made Daily Quarter Pound of Meat with three slices of cheese sandwiches, so he's going to grab three packs of mayo, and he's going to make his way around the coffee counter, he's looking around, he's not exactly sure what he's looking for, but apparently he doesn't want any hostess, so he's going to turn around, look up at the counter, make his way back around the coffee counter, and he's going to reevaluate whether or not he really wants those chocolate chunk Prairie City cookies, you know, those M&M cookies do look look pretty good so he's gonna shove those mayo packets in his back pocket now those are 10 cents a piece unless you buy a fresh made daily quarter pound of meat with three slices of cheese sandwich so he's gonna make his way back over to the deli cooler and take another look oh man i really just wanted like a half a pound of freshly sliced deli meat from that deli cooler over there but apparently they don't do that at night guess i'm gonna have to settle for one of these bad boys even though the doctor told me i need to cut out the carbs in the dairy all right oh well which one do i want now let's see here they got corned beef they got roast beef they got ham turkey italian Hmm, this is a tough decision, but I'm kind of a white meat kind of guy. I think I'm definitely going to go with a turkey. Yeah, let's go with a turkey and hot pepper. Yep, that sounds pretty good. So he's going to take that sandwich and those cookies and set them down in front of the scratch-off lottery display. And as you can see, the sandwich is about half off camera and the cookies are totally off camera. And that's important because later on, that angle is going to come in handy. Now, as you can see, he is looking at our cardboard crack selection. There's a lot to choose from. You know, we got $50 tickets, we got $30 tickets, $20 tickets, $10 tickets, $5 tickets, $3 tickets, $2 tickets, $1 tickets. We got all kinds of tickets and they're all stupid. So he's going to look at that big top ticket. Then he's going to look at those bottom tickets. He's looking at all the tickets before he gives himself the old finger lick -a to start flipping through that big wad of cash he has in his hands. He's got money to blow, but he does not know what he wants to blow it on. So he's going to end up taking that big wad of cash, slipping into his pocket, letting this guy go ahead of him because, you know, he's a nice guy and he's going to start limping to the other side of the store before hitting us with the very rare thief knee scratch face swipe combo. He's going to head over here. He's going to take a quick stop, do a little glance over at the automotive section before saying, nah, I'm good, and making his way into the chip and vodka aisle. And it looks like we got a fan at the counter. Anybody YouTube worthy lately? Oh, not today. Oh, little does he know that he's in the presence of a slimy little salamander just a couple aisles away. So he's going to continue looking at our awesome chip selection, but apparently he doesn't want a big bag of chips. He also does not want any vodka. He also does not want anything from our freezer, you know, like some delicious Ben and Jerry's ice cream. So he's going to make his way around that wine rack. He's going to make his way into the middle aisle, and he quickly spots the little chip bag rack. Oh, do I want the Cool Ranch? No. Oh, this is such a tough decision. I think I'm going to go with these ones. Yep, the spicy sweet chili. Those look pretty good. Is anybody looking at me? Nope. Uh, you know what? I'm not stealing these. I may as well just open them right now and start eating them. Well, hello, little chippies. Don't mind if I do. They're pretty good. Yeah, let's get some more. I think I want one more before I go up there. Mm. Whoa there, hold on now, what did we just witness? Let's take a look at that again in slow motion. So he takes the open bag of Doritos, sets them down on the counter, and he reaches for the sandwich with his right hand and the cookies with the left hand, and those cookies end up going shoop into his back pocket. He sets the sandwich down, then he pretends he's going back for the cookies and acts like, uh, you know what, I just changed my mind, I don't want those anymore. So now Jack's thinking, hmm, that's pretty weird, I'm pretty sure this guy had two cookies. 
seven. And then that meat fresh out of the nut would have been nice, but no, I'm saying those are all fresh. No, no, I'm talking about just meat only. Gotcha. <laughs> So he makes sure to mention one more time that he really wishes he had some freshly sliced deadly meat. Ha 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 ha. So he's going to limp his way with those cookies in his back pocket all the way to what I can only assume is a pretty expensive RV. I know those things aren't cheap to buy and they definitely aren't cheap to fill up. So he's going to get into his RV and now the race is on. <laughs> Not fast enough. So he's still trying to find out what the heck happened to those cookies. He's looking at the cameras. He can't see anything. He's going to come around, look for the cookies, but she gone. So he's going to come back over here, look at the cameras one more time before he goes in the office, see if he can see anything on those cameras, but he can't. So he's going to come back out here, look at these cameras again. He's looking at a bad angle, unfortunately. You can't see anything from that angle. You get a look at that side angle of the coffee camera. And unfortunately, he is really, really pissed right now. And the last thing you want to do is come in and try to talk to Jack when he's pissed. Oh, my kids watch YouTube and just have heard of this gas station on there. I said, don't even think about it. <laughs> He was like, he's like, I'm gonna put candy in my pocket and see if they can catch me. And then take it out. And I was like, no, you're not. And he's gonna go. <laughs> I was like, no. Was it a million subscribers? That was a million, yeah. A million. How long have you had that? Uh, it's, I, it's too hard to say. I wow. Just lose track. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, probably. Oh, yeah. Is your name Jack? Yes. Sorry, I'm just. I got this guy stealing, and I'm trying to figure out what he did. You got, dude. How honestly, what I wanted to ask you most, right? How do people still steal from you? Maybe they don't know about do, it. They have to know. I, I mean, they, they don't have they just to. Think that they can get or just to try? Do yeah. they just leave? Yeah. He, he has cookies, and then he doesn't have cookies when he comes back up. Oh my gosh, I would be so mortified. Just like, I would that's, never steal because it's crazy. I can tell by how you're looking, too. That's, oh my gosh. All right, so what do you guys want to buy? It's buy so something. cool. And that concludes this episode's fan cameo. Now here we're going to be paying attention to the salmon bag that is about to walk into the door that the nice Heineken drinker is holding open for him. So he makes his way inside. He's going to look up at the counter, obviously, do a little handshake. Oh yeah, would you look at this place? This should be easy to steal from. Yeah. Oh, look at that Red Bull. Oh, cashier's busy. Yeah, this is going to be a piece of cake. So he's going to take a quick look at the freshly delivered 3.3 ounce two packs of Pop-Tarts before moving on to the Belvita breakfast biscuits. But obviously Pop-Tarts sound way better. So he's going to go back to those, take a quick look. Eh, apparently he doesn't want anything. So he's going to make his way down the middle aisle and he's going to hit us with the thief arm rub, not to be confused with the thief scratch. And he's going to make his way around the little happy dad display right there. Apparently he doesn't want a 12 pack of the death row records. Great. And he's going to say no to the candy before he comes over here, looks up at the ceiling. You know, he's got to spot those cameras, make sure they're not looking at him. And he's going to make his way into the vodka aisle, but everything in that aisle is just a little too big to shove into your pocket. So he's going to make his way over here to the freezer and uh oh, what does he want? Looks like he found something. So he's going to open up the wrong door by mistake then he's going to open up the correct door barely he's gonna sneak his little arm in there and he's gonna pull out a rocket pop which he will conceal between his arm and his leg before he finally hits us with the cross arm concealment technique yeah you don't see that one often so he's going to make his way into the vodka aisle and obviously look up at the camera gotta make sure it's not looking at you and as you can see the rocket pop is clearly in his left hand but the camera doesn't see that and it definitely doesn't see him slip it into his pocket oh yeah that was a little easier than I thought. All right, let me just continue playing dumb like I can't find anything in this store. And oh yeah, this store just, this store just doesn't have anything that I want. All right, guess I'm just gonna have to leave without buying anything. She go. If you know these thieves, let them know that they need to turn themselves into the local authorities so we can properly have them charged with theft for stealing cookies and a rocket pop. <laughs>